Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. And so tonight we're going to be playing War and Peace. I have been meaning to get around to this game, but I have been purposely delayed by issues in my personal life. As of this month, and I'm moving out at the end of the month, so I do apologise. And the developer has been very patient with me, and I'm very happy to be able to show the game off here today. Uh, so we do have War and Peace, and there would be a lovely series of soundtracks. And I'm, I'm an R in about whether to play them. I think for this first one I will play. So essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to explore... We're going to explore a scenario I have in one in mind, which is to do with Napoleon's invasion of Egypt. And in the future, I'm going to expand the scope of the game to which we cover. So we're going to be looking at the wider scale things as well, look at the production. Uh, but today we're going to go for the campaign in Egypt. We're going to go for the advanced version. The advanced version features uh, naval aspects. So I'm a big fan of naval. It's quite fun. And it is quite good on the Grand Campaign scene because, yes, you have uh, you have quite a mighty amount of assets to actually manage. Um, especially as a British, but if you're playing as the French, you do have to try and deal with the British Navy, the Royal Navy, and that's a lot of fun. Hey, do that, Zach. Good to have you, my man. Good to have you. So, War and Peace is based upon a board game, a very classic board game, so you may recognize things. For instance, we're going to take a look here at the... Advanced Egyptian Campaign. So this actual mission here, this scenario I should say, runs from June 1798 to October 1799. Uh, you can play it easy for Solitaire or against a AI or a person. Uh, today we're going to be playing against the AI. You can even play as both sides if you want to do. So this scenario enhances a base Egyptian scenario with naval units. It is recommended players to use this practice for naval rules to be used in the Grand Campaign, which we shall be doing in the future. Following his successful Italian campaign ended in 1797, General Bonaparte was suddenly in the spotlight in Paris and had gained notoriety throughout Europe. How would he follow up with this success? Inspired by Alexander the Great, Bonaparte designed to strike at the English in India by way of Cairo. Partially out of the desire to send the vibrant young Corsican away from Paris, and partially out of a need for more successes on French, uh, on France's various fronts, the Directory agreed to this ambitious idea for a campaign to conquer Egypt with the hopes of cutting the English trade routes to India. General Bonaparte wasted no time in gathering the best and the brightest, including the Corps of Veteran Soldiers from the Army of Italy. He gathered some 40,000 soldiers in an armada of 335 ships of varying in size and ship. There are tiny ships to the enormous battleship sans culotte newly uh, tilted Laurent. With the force, he would conquer Egypt and sidestep the Ottoman Empire and finally drive the English out of India. And the, the, there is a small chance we can actually ally the Ottoman Empire during the campaign. Uh, you are able to actually create nations and alliances during the campaign. You'll see that in the Grand Campaign, actually. And this scenario in particular is going to be more so a role to maybe get the Ottomans on the side, but it generally doesn't pass. Hey, Don Alex, good to have you, my man. Indeed. Velurion, however, events would not go according to plan. Nelson's forces achieved a stunning victory of a larger French fleet, anchored off the Alcair Bay. The French Foreign Minister Charles Maurice de Talleyrand Paragord uh, refused to make the promised journey to Constantinople to assuage the Turks, who then declared war on France. Eventually, even the dreaded bubonic plague, the disease that had ravaged Europe centuries earlier, would assault his ambitions. And battled on all sides, General Bonaparte would prove his resilience to leadership time and again, would eventually return to Paris, leaving the army of the Orient behind. So indeed, we're going to go in here. How are you doing, Hino Hiomatsu? Good to have you, my friend. So we're going to go ahead and... Whoops, I didn't mean to actually play as both sides there. I meant to click on Play as France. So hold on a second, let me go back here and uh, set that up again then. So we do have the music, thankfully. Lovely. I will have to see if I need to turn it up, but we'll see. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and play Solitaire. And let me see... Uh, we'll have that on. I can play as both sides. That may in fact be a worthwhile idea, actually. So we'll go ahead and do that then. We'll do Solitaire Play. And we do have options for additional rules. So we have Real Maneuver. And allows plenty French players to use more than one hex to initiate a field battle or a pencil movement. The French Imperial Guard. The French may get a morale of three for a round of combat. Yes, essentially in exchange for all the losses taken on the card. Uh, the French Imperial Guard. So it, that's very useful to have there. Uh, the cavalry charge. Each player may get a modifier of one for a round of combat in exchange for all the losses taken on the cavalry. Uh, yes. Oh, you can't hear the game? Let me go ahead and turn it up then. It's a little bit quieter. I've turned monetization off on the stream here because I, uh, yeah, I expect this to be copyrighted, but we'll see here. 
Hopefully it's loud enough. We'll go in that there. And then we do have a plank. Now, the attrition rolls are usually okay. This obviously is going to make it less than okay, especially next to the Nile River here in Egypt. So we'll go ahead and do Venice. We'll play as both sides. We'll play Solitaire here, so we're playing against ourselves. But I think it'll be a good way to show off the mechanics of the game there. Maybe a little bit more? Okay. Sometimes it's hard, because I have this tuned, and... Uh, yeah. I look forward to the far future when an AI does this for me. We'll go with that, then. How you doing there, Zach? Good to have you. Hinamatsu, going to the gym now? Awesome, man. Awesome. Have fun in the gym, there. I should go as well. Ah, I'm just bloody lazy. So this is the game here. Now, the actual map is pretty good. Like, we do obviously have England over here. Now, England, um... Things happen in England. We don't talk about England. <laughs> uh, but indeed, as we do have... Europe over here, man. So we do have Denmark, Sweden, we have Russia, so we have Russia, the Battle of Russia, then the Russians. We do have Russia over here, then, of course. We do have the Austrians. We have down here, you tend to have, like, scenarios down here. So we have Egypt down here. Uh, but we have Italy over here, so we have the Kingdom of Italy and the Kingdom of Naples. And we do have Spain and Portugal, and then France proper here. Switzerland, yeah, and then obviously the Ottoman territories. If I go ahead and click on Country Alignment, you can see here, blue, of course, represents the French national alignment. And you can also see that we have the coalition over here with England and Russia right now. Uh, but indeed, and obviously you can see here then, uh, Egypt has obviously we are... Well, I guess this is Mamluks, I think, at this point. I could be wrong. Uh, of course, we got invaded in Egypt here. So I don't imagine the Ottomans are too particularly pleased about that. But over the course of the game, in the Grand Campaign especially, you can create new nations. For example, you have a Holy Roman Empire over here. Uh, the Rhine Confederation can be created. Uh, we're in June 1798 here. But obviously, as you could imagine in the Grand Campaign, you can do some pretty fun stuff. <laughs> yeah. Mamluks, makes sense there. Alright. So, we'll have that on here. So, we begin this scenario then as the French would see these sound effects are a little loud right now. I've been trying to balance that one out there. I'll have to ask the developer about that, whether it's possible or not. I believe this is in Unity? It could be Unity. I think it's in Unity. I'm not familiar with the engine itself, as such, other than from playing. So I'm not too sure how easy it is to do things like that. So I'll try our best, and hopefully I don't deafen anybody. So we're in the new turn phase here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do then is click to move into naval movement phase, which we have now. Uh, by the way, the barrels represent a supply source, so this is going to be quite important. I'm going to go through this at a decent speed. It'll make so yeah, it makes sense as we go through it. I do like how you have the coloured border here. I do like that. The map is quite nice. It's relatively simple. It's based on a pretty nice board game, so it does make sense. And pretty functional. I like games that focus on the functionality. You can see that we have a number of ports over here. Uh, there are blockade mechanics, there's obviously naval running mechanics or blockade running mechanics as well as you try to evade the Royal Navy. Uh, but indeed it would be rather interesting to see if the French could manage to invade Britain. There are starts for that in the Grand Campaign, I believe. But we'll see then. So right now, we have our ships over here, we have our little armada. So we have five squadrons over here, so if I right click on the actual counter, you can see that we have a nation, so you can see the flag here. You can see the amount of morale, so morale provides bonus in combat and enforces withdrawals when reduced to zero. So the main thing here is you may not destroy the enemy, but if you can break their morale, you're going to win the battle. Uh, you can see we have SP, which is a strength point, so each SP stands for six ships. As you can see that we do have quite a few there, we have about 30 ships. We have four squadrons essentially, each is six. And I, I love this track by the way, it really reminds me of uh, Waterloo, the actual film there. Uh, but anyhow, you can see that we have about 30 ships in our squadrons. You can see the squadron there fighting instead of may only carry leaders. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do then is select here. We have our transports. So they're French, they have morale, and they have strength points here. Our transports do not fight, but they may transport strength points, production points, and supplies. Uh, so what I need to go ahead and do here is I need to figure out, okay, how am I going to deal with the British over here? You can see... The sea sound effect, the wave sound effect is a little rough at the moment, so we'll see what we can do about that. You can see that we do have the squadrons over here. So the British obviously do have a couple there. 
we can barely outnumber the British, but they do have Nelson. So he's English, of course, and he provides leadership. So it gives bonus to naval combat interception pursuit. And you can see that we have Admiral. They only move along with naval units. Now, Nelson himself actually does provide some unique bonuses. I believe only Nelson does as a naval leader. He got this board game. Oh, that's pretty cool. You probably should enjoy this then. You'll have to let me know how accurate it is to the board game and how you feel about it being digitized. I believe it was kickstarted actually as a project, so it should be rather fun. Maybe you did back it, maybe you didn't know about it, who knows. So what I'm going to go ahead and do then is going to attach. So I'm going to go ahead and detach a couple of squadrons over here. I'm going to form them up into a separate group. Now, my idea here is I need to go from the East Mediterranean, sorry, from the West Mediterranean to the East Mediterranean, and then from the East Mediterranean to this part of the East Mediterranean to then drop down here to Alexandria. And that's kind of what I want to go ahead and do. I'm kind of praying that I can try and tie the British up, but I am playing also as a British after this, so I don't think I'm going to be too easily... Uh, uh, I don't know, we'll have to see. <laughs> there may be an element of just like, hmm, uh, let's see what happens. I need to win and both lose, so we'll see. So what I'm going to go ahead and do then is we're going to have these guys sail out. I'm going to take a look at the interception here. So interception is quite nice. You can really tailor it. So for example, uh, the fleet will be a candidate for an interception if a squadron ratio between this force and the enemy force and shows an interval. Uh, so I could either have like 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 1 to 1, 3 to 2, 2 to 1, 3 to 1 plus. As our minimum ratios and maximum ratios over here. Uh, so they would look to go for a minimum of 1 to 1 and a maximum of 2 to 1. And you can see here, prior to use to share ties between several candidates, so obviously you can choose here. Each and escort to transport counts as one unit for the ratio, otherwise zero. Okay, yeah. So this is all fleets. It's kind of like a doctrine or air doctrine from one of these two, in fact. You can see here we have uh, always conditional and never. So conditional obviously means that they will look at these conditions. So... There we go, still in time. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and have them sail out. Now, I do like how the system works. It's generally going to be quite easy to manage as a British. Because uh, essentially, you choose a sea for them to move into. So in this case, I'm going to have them move to the Western Mediterranean Sea, like so. I could either have them move coastal. So coastal would have them uh, move to coastal regions, obviously, here. But if I go to selected sea, they move out to sea here. Now... Yeah, certain sound effects do like to take their time. The game's not due for release until tomorrow, uh, but little things like that I'm sure will be picked up upon and fixed, so don't worry about that. Little things like that can be fixed relatively easy. So, as we are right now, we haven't yet engaged or been engaged, but we're out here. We have about three movement points remaining to us here, so, Force for Blue Bar in the middle have already partially moved, they may finish their move. So, they're not fully moved here yet. You can see that we have one morale, um, and the British have two morale, which does mean even though they have less numbers than we, as we have another six ships than they do, we have another squadron. Uh, in fact, they're actually probably going to kick it out because they have that morale. So, that's going to be a lot of fun. So, what I need to go ahead and do then is load up my forces here. So, you can see that we have a number of different leaders here. We have Bonaparte, uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce them. I'm going to go with Murat because I know how to pronounce that one. So I'm going to go with that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here, then you can see here, maximum cargo per transport. So leaders plus four infantry or two cavalry or two infantry and one cavalry. So I'm going to go ahead and load these guys up. Uh, the strength points over here represents 5,000 men. So this is 10,000 men and so on and so forth. So this is a fairly large force that we're sending to Egypt here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do then is load them up and load them up. So... Uh, a little bit too many there. Yeah. We have a question here. Osh Street, good to have you. Does the Epic Game Store give out weekly games in the UK? I really don't know, actually. Does the Epic Store give out weekly games in the UK? Huh. Since Homeworld's Desert or Karak is free start tomorrow. That's pretty cool. Well, I didn't know that. Um, but there you go. I, I guess you guys should go ahead and check that out, actually. I do like Homeworld does it some crack. It's very atmospheric. I haven't played it for a while, but it is very atmospheric. Well, granted, when I did get it, I didn't really have as great of a setup as I do now. Now that this one's spectacular, but it's pretty functional. 
So you can see that we have our three transports over here full of infantrymen. Well, obviously these are multiple transport ships. We're going to go ahead and place the two infantry over here with the cavalry. I'm going to be using the cavalry. Now, infantry require leaders to move out, but cavalry can move out independently. And what I'll go ahead and do then is have Bonaparte on board here. Alongside... Sal, how do you want to pronounce that? Lance, Bonat, and Kleber. <laughs> I'm terrible. I keep it. I don't know how to pronounce that. There we go. So we have them loaded up. What I'm going to go ahead and do here then is have them sail. I'm going to have them sail to the Western Mediterranean. All right. Okay. So kind of over here now. I would very much prefer to be elsewhere than here, so I'm going to move to the Eastern Mediterranean. And let's see. We're here now, but we're still in the East Mediterranean. Yeah. So that's good. We've managed to avoid death for now. But I will be bringing that death about. So what I'm going to go ahead and do then is we do have Rosetta over here. Uh, I do have Abaca Bay. I'm going to go ahead and drop here, which is probably not the best thing. It's Swamp, River, Minus, City. And I'm not too sure how I feel about that. Let me go ahead and just... I uh, do have Desert, which obviously not particularly amazing. I uh, can't drop directly. I do have a supply point actually over here, which is something to actually... Really quite var uh, value, sorry. Um... Yeah, see, the thing is, it's a case of, well, I could drop here and push on to Alexandria. I can't guarantee I'm going to have a supply source at Alexandria. As far as I can see now, we have a supply source in Cairo and El Arish. If I drop at El Arish, I can at least secure a supply zone. Uh, you can create depots, by the way, by detaching a strength point. So I could have a strength point of infantry detached. And uh, they'll act as a depot. So they'll take supply from free hexes and they'll push it out free hexes. So pretty useful. I do like the fact that you do use the strength points that you act as your depot. It does make sense. It's like obviously they need to be defended, constructed, and manned. So that's pretty interesting. Um, I don't like the fact that we do obviously have Ottoman forces in the north. So I have to bear that in mind. The Ottomans obviously not going to be struggling with supply there. Obviously it would be very handy if we could have uh, the Ottomans as an ally. Maybe there's a small chance we could have that. But it's very likely not to pass. So we could choose to land. I don't necessarily have to land everything all in the same position. But it's not the worst case in the world because it does mean that you can actually achieve total victory there. I could land at Alexandria and then make a push towards Cairo. And that's not also the worst thing in the world because then at least I would secure Cairo and be in a good position there. There are also supply sources down here to the south. It would be quite the fight throughout Egypt. So it depends really. Perhaps I land over here at El I don't have to uh, force a crossing uh, through across the Nile to Cairo, but it is a greater distance from El Arish to Cairo. But I also need to have a supply source. Now, you can use ships as supply sources, like uh, coastal supply sources, basically naval supply, but you can't trace that supply. It, it's basically only the things that can receive it will get it, and then if you're further inland, it's not really going to happen very well. Whereas over here at El Arish, I can actually have that supply traced. So... It depends. We see 5,000 cav, 5,000 cav here. Uh, there's about 20,000 men here, it would seem. Uh, he's not really great on the leadership, so that's not bad. They do have a bit of morale. There's not that many troops over here either. I need to move very quickly, to be honest. <sighs> Maybe I do land just besides. I could land potentially at Rosetta and then march quickly. But I do like the idea of supply source. How are you doing that, Arthur? You used to play this in board game with my roommates in uni. Ah, oh, man. How come everybody has these really great, like, university experiences? And mine was just, like, COVID. <laughs> I just, uh, I played it myself. I mean, that sounds more enjoyable than it actually is. But it um, teaches you a lot about yourself. You're like, well, if you can put it with yourself, you can put it with anybody. <sighs> I don't know, Arthur. What do you think here, then? Do we land on Rosetta and push Alexandria and then Cairo? Or do we pull Elrish? 
If I do secure Cairo, which I believe I can do, and in fact I think I probably will go with Cairo. I think I'm going to go for the more bold option. I could land over here or I could land a Rosetta. Ah, that's a tough one. Hmm. There is more MP to pay here. So probably here, take Alexandria and then push. Yeah, Billy Nomades. So we'll land at uh, this position here then. Oh, can I not unload over here? Ah. Naval movement. I believe I may be able to unload here in land movement. Let's see, land movement. Yes, there we are. Okay. So I have my forces here. Now, a leader may only lead up to 10 strength points, but Napoleon or Wellington may lead 12. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now. So, the cavalry can act independently. I could have it led by a leader, which is not a bad thing. It would help uh, by giving them some morale power. Yeah, it would help them, but it's not particularly necessary. Yeah, cavalry units may move without a leader. Mm. Go for the pyramids, indeed. <laughs> yes, exactly. I love that. It's great to have you, Norm. Hope you're doing well, my man. Ryan, okay. Mm. See, the cavalry could have gone elsewhere. They don't have the greatest amount of use right now, but technically I could use them as a depot, but I'd rather use the infantry. But we'll see. They do have good morale. Like, our, our French forces do have good morale, which is very really useful. Not at sea, but on land we do. But either way, we're going to do Venice. We're going to take Bonaparte, and he's going to lead 12 SP of infantry. So we've got 7 here, 11, and because there's the 12 there. So what I'll do then is place Marat, and... Frankly, it depends on how I want to take this. I don't think there's always a great deal of options at this particular moment in time. But we'll see then. Um, in fact, what I'll go ahead and do then is have our spear leaders here with the... In fact, I'll, I'll put... No, I don't know, actually. Leader. Hmm. That would help potentially with the cavalry. But we'll see. I could also have a small force comprise, comprised then of 10,000 infantry and some cavalry. So that's not the worst thing in the world. But we'll see. We may have this as like a second line force then. So I'll have a uh, spear leader and inferior leader with the forces here. I'll obviously have to leave behind the strength points to set up a depot shortly enough, but we'll see about that. So we'll go ahead and set that up. Now we have our force over here under Napoleon. I need to move quick. You can see here we have remainder movement allowance of three. Blue bar indicates that uh, may move their full movement allowance. Morale, leadership, and strength there. So we are leading 12. So what we'll go ahead and do then is... Well, I'm in land movement right now. And I believe I would have to engage them, which would be done in a combat step. All right, let me see. Yeah, I believe that's uh, we're gonna get that. All right, so I could have my ships move out, but what I'm gonna do then is move then to land combat here. So they've uh, merged as a giant stack. Then I didn't actually intend for that, <laughs> but I'll issue an attack here. So go with that. Now, likely gonna engage my ships there shortly. All right, so I'll go for that attack. Let's see. I could issue a cavalry charge, but I'm not going to do that. Fortifications here, then. So, I believe I'm playing as the other side now. So, uh, I have to choose if I want them outside or inside the city. If I force it into... I'm going to go for... An, I'm going to try and protract this into a siege, then. So, uh, we'll do this. We'll place them inside the city. So, one sec. Uh, we'll place inside the city there. They would probably get rolled over anyway, but I'm going to give it a short. So we'll go with that. Yeah, you can see here that... Uh, wow, we got really lucky there, actually. Uh, Napoleon... Sorry, uh, Nelson actually failed the interception over here, which is really, really good for me. Right, we have our city assault over here. So, assault on the fortress is optional. I can besiege it. Or I could roll the die. 
And this is why I went into the city here. You can see that we have morale 1. And we have morale of 2 here. Interestingly enough, it's not being led by Napoleon. Hmm, interesting. But they have 15 strength points. We have just the 2 here. Uh, so, yeah. Let's see here. Tables. Sue. So, right. Uh, displayed ratio pertains to the larger force. Kind of buggered, aren't we? So, no. We'll roll that and we'll go for an assault here. Uh... Right, so we do eliminate a strength point, so we do eliminate a infantry unit here. Uh, the cavalry is eliminated, but that's not bad. We actually do inflict losses upon Napoleon's army here in Egypt. So the rolls weren't amazing, but we do manage it, so not bad. Losses choices, yep, so we're going to have to lose a strength point. Okay. Oops. Sorry, the game is just loading there, my bad. So we have voluntary withdrawal or advance after combat. So what we're going to do is advance and move in there. Quite a number of men move in there. Okay. We have the city of Alexandria on dry control. June 1798. So the sound effects are quite wild. Uh, we'll move into the next turn. That sound effect... Uh is pretty cool actually. Let me go ahead and just reduce that sound. Oh, there we go. I was, I was wondering, is that stuck or, or, or not? <laughs> Alright, so we're now playing as a coalition. But right now we have a British here with Nelson. And so we're going to run the interception here then. So, in order to intercept, you need to obtain five more with one die, uh, plus one for a stationary interception, plus two, sorry, plus one with Nelson. So, this action kind of cancelled. I'm pretty sure, yeah. So, we just need to roll above a 2. And then we're okay. We get a pretty hefty bonus for it. Station interception and we're Nelson. So, roll. Yeah, we got 3. So, actually, we do manage it. A naval battle occurs. Now, I do think, even though the British are lacking a strength point versus the French Navy here, I don't even know how to, like, uh, talk about this as if, like, whose side am I on? So, uh, 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 we're on the side of the ocean here. We're on Neptune's side. So, it's a one-to-one, -one, minus two here. We'll roll the die. Okay, we do sink a French ship. Well, about six of them. And we damage 12, and then 12 remain undamaged here. So the winning fleet may attempt to pursuit, which I would like to do. All right, so lost naval units, yeah. I could choose which ones would be lost there. Let me see. Right, we're going to attempt pursuit. In order to pursue the enemy fleet, you need to obtain a 5 or more with 1 die. So we need plus 1 with Nelson. Uh, we do have a plus 1 with Nelson here, so we have a fair chance. Oh, we fail, unfortunately. Though. So, fail pursuit, the enemy fleet retreats. So they will retreat to the port of... Ooh, shall we say, shall we say Marseille? And there we are. So we have naval retreat. We have naval movement now. So, obviously this isn't going to go particularly well for the French out here. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to sail to the eastern Mediterranean. And well, I don't need to go to a coastal hex. So what we'll do then is we'll remain here in the Eastern Mediterranean. So yes, this fleet will always intercept. It's not conditional, it's always. So yeah, they're set to interception. Alright, so full reinforcements have been placed on the map. So we have additional cavalry, which have been moved over here then. Okay, to Aswan. So they are some distance away from Cairo, but we'll have to manage what we can manage. So if we take a look over here, then, so you can see that uh, June 1798, uh, we were very fortunate, very, very fortunate that, as the French, we managed to invade that. We do lose 5,000 men here in the Battle of Alexandria. We do take Alexandria in the same turn, so not bad. Uh, then later in June 1798, we do have Nelson engaged against the French. We do have a ship sunk and two damaged. You can see then that uh, there's a failed pursuit by Nelson's squadrons against the French, and the French retreat here to Marseille. 
And then you can see here that we have reinforcements of cavalry for the Mamluks. So move in here. And now we have land movement. Now let's see. I have Murad. I do have Ibrahim. And the question is, how do we manage this? And that indeed will be the question now. Mm. Your fun in the sand is going to wait up, Boney. Yeah, exactly. Uh, here's your fun in the sands vacation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, okay. So, it's a tough one here because we don't really have all that much to play with. I could try to use the swamp because obviously it does help us. You can see a bridge negates the movement cost of a river, but I mean, the problem is, it's like I want to try and protect Cairo here. Um, but I know, but I know, I won't make that easy. And I know I could probably manage to break it no matter what happens. It's just how hard can I make it? So, it depends here. We've got a decent amount of cavalry. And I can enact some interesting tactics there. Alright, so you can see here actually that... Ki yeah, ah, ah, okay, I didn't realise it, but Alexandria is a supply source now. So that's good. That's actually really good for the French. Damn the French! Alright, okay. I was going to say, well, maybe we can try and just force them to fight and... Tie them down at Alexandria so they run out of supply. But okay, they have supply sources, so not great. Uh, so how do I want to go with it and do this? I want to try and make it difficult for the French. I could maybe hold this position here or even move to Venice. Or I could even move across to Cairo, which is going to make it a difficult thing. Or I could withdraw forces, maybe run a little bit of interception, really try and run difficult things to them. Like I could, I could have like um, a couple Mamluk cavalry. Oops. Keep clicking on the wrong thing, don't I? Um, I could have like a strength point of cavalry here and there, something like that. Uh, just to try and make it difficult for them. Which, it's not going to do a huge amount, but if I can cause them problems, limit their mobility, I'm okay with that. I want to try and bide my time so I can engage when I have more strength. So what I'll do is place them over here as well. And then... I'll have my forces withdraw here to Cairo. It is a tough one here. Oops. Let me just undo that move there. Have them move up to this position here. Hmm. Alright, it's gonna be... I don't know how I can make this any more difficult. Like, I have a decent amount of cavalry here, and I may be able to just, like, sit in position in Cairo and make it harder, because obviously the river and the train would help. Uh, uh, the problem is, if I allow the French to engage in a decisive battle, then that's, that's most of the Mamluk army destroyed. So it's a difficult one, because it's like there's a lot to be said for engaging the French at Alexandria, or at least trying to hold the French at Alexandria and hope that the Ottomans do join on the side of the British. Um, and the Russians, of course. Join on the side of the coalition and reinforce the Mamluks. But that's a tough sell. I mean, the French army does obviously have good leadership, and we don't really have particularly great leadership. Our morale's not good either. So I'm not too sure how I can best delay myself. Is it a question of delaying? Do I want to withdraw and build up strength? But I've sacrificed some strength to potentially... That's a tough one. Maybe I engage at the pyramids before we go to Cairo. Hmm. Supply source is obviously a big issue as well. It's a tough sell. It's a tough sell, actually, because I'm not too sure the Egyptians here, the Mamluks, can properly resist. But we'll see. Mm. The problem is, the I could try to cut the supply from Alexandria, but the problem is I need to hold Cairo. 
So I can't really easily... I mean, this is the thing here, because obviously if I had landed at LRH with a French, it would have been a relatively straightforward path, and it would have been a longer path, and there would have had to be a, a supply depot left behind, which maybe could have been attacked. Here, the French don't have to march that far to get to Cairo, and Cairo is a supply source in of itself. Does it mean that they'll lead, or I will leave, Alexandria unoccupied? But it's a tough one, actually. Or at least we may have the option of the... Well, may have the Ottoman Empire coming in on our side soon. Uh, the French really can't easily withdraw, as Nelson's out here to make this very difficult. Hmm. So even as a player, it's it's a difficult question here of how to respond to this, because, again, I don't want to have the French able to engage in a decisive battle and defeat me, but I can't allow the French to take the objectives without any challenge. So the challenge, does that come from having the cavalry there in a position to make their life difficult? Hmm. So, I suppose this decision is, this force over here, it does have 4 MP. I'm going to position here. The reason for that is, they're not going to easily engage. I hold Cairo, I have units over here that can threaten... I fully, I mean, yeah, we'll see, I'll see. Maybe I'm a genius and maybe I'm not, but we'll see how that goes. We do have long land combat over here, and I could obviously attack, but I'm not bloody dumb. I know how it's going to go. All right, so move to the French now, and I put my Napoleon hat on. How am I going to respond to this? All right. Fail pursuit, they've received reinforcements. Okay. Ah, I wonder if this is naval supply, I'm not too sure. Now, frankly, the problem is... Oh, actually, to be fair, I could have the ships move into the port of Alexandria. That's probably my only choice right now. Oops. Oh, I see. I thought I had to put them in here, but I guess they're already in Portman. That makes sense. Well, the ships are protected, which is not so bad then. So, let me see then. I've got the forces here. So, I'm going to break off Bonaparte and Dassault, how you want to pronounce that, with the infantry. So, that's 12 points of infantry. Like so. Let me take another leader here, just in case I have one killed. So, let me see. Um, attach. Right. Hopefully these forces stay separate here. So we'll go to next. Uh, I have to detach them again. Uh, I'm going to use the mechanics here. So that's my bad. Uh, but what we'll do then is... Yep. Yeah, what I just did there. Now... Because we did lose a point of infantry, it is a little bit harder here. You can see that these forces can still move. Ah, actually, Napoleon isn't able to move properly here. This force can, that's good. Okay. So I could choose to engage here, but that's not likely to be too successful. So what I've kind of done here is force myself into a position of having to attack. Whilst this force can't easily move. Now... Do I move upon Rosetta? And secure Rosetta? But does that make much of a difference here? Hmm. Uh, what I'm going to do then is in fact detach the cavalry. And the cavalry, you can see the cavalry has far more movement here. Uh, so I can have the cavalry detached. Uh, let's see, can I see the supply line? Not right now. I'm thinking, do I have the cavalry? And the thing is, I'd like to be able to get in behind them to initiate an attack like that, but I block myself by being here. So I think really what I want to go ahead and do then is probably have uh, Napoleon's army engage. And this is it. Have it engaged against this cavalry. It's not ideal, but it, it's the position I push myself into. 
I can have our forces just move up over here to Rosetta. But that's not ideal. So what I'm going to go ahead and do then is have... Hmm, I don't say I put myself in a tough position there. Hey, didn't it, LS? Good to have you, my man. So I could have secured Rosetta for all it's worth. Or I could put in a position here and maybe try and block them from retreat or even here or, or something of that nature. It depends. Um, as long as I've got the supply source, I can work with that. I think what I'll do then is place the cavalry here. I'll have lands, or however you want to pronounce that, lead this infantry here. Or in fact, no, I really shouldn't have done that. Uh, I'll have a move to Rosetta, potentially. So, what I'll do then is I'll move you to Rosetta. So we'll capture the city of Rosetta. I'm going to, in fact, detach two points here with a leader. And, in fact, detach a unit to remain stationed in Alexandria. This gentleman can lead men here. What I want to do is secure my position here, push the cavalry back, and then able, and then try and be in a position where I can just like hold this bank and then push Napoleon south to the objective there. Oh, actually, you can see here that has opened up mobility to... Napoleon somewhat. So let's go ahead and take a look at that then. So what I might do then, green is where you can move without any force movement, but beyond that you can do move into the realm of force march. I think I'm going to go ahead and try and force march Napoleon. Alright. The temple gives the probability to obtain extra MP. The force will use all points of... Okay, so let's see. Let's give it a go. If attempted this force march in any move performed so far, kind of cancelled. French modifiers may cause the force to be separated into several groups. Okay. Non guard, non sight to light, French, uh, strength points, minus one. Okay. Let's see. I think we win. I think we managed it. Okay. So we managed the force march there. Okay. So. Hmm. So with that done, what I'll do then is I'll move this force back here. Alright. Okay, we'll keep it like that then. So a little different to what I imagined. I didn't realize we'd be able to then move here, so that's good to know there. Maybe the zone of con uh, control there was uh, impinged. But I'll go into land combat here. So I can initiate an attack, and I will initiate an attack against Cairo. Now, I don't have that much in the way of strength points, so I could attack the cavalry. But that kind of leaves me open here, but I think we probably do want to consider it. Um, but I don't know if it's necessarily ideal. We'll have... Um, how you doing there, Hellenic Strategist? Good to have you, my man. Uh, it'd be released Steam on Steam tomorrow. Uh, I don't know the price, but it should be released on Steam, but I know it will not be free. Uh, but it's a good game so far. I mean, this is just playing one of the Earth scenarios. There is a grand campaign where you do manage the war in Europe, uh, the Napoleonic Wars, indeed. Uh, this is a campaign here in Egypt, which I'm really playing against myself, which is an unusual experience. I'm not used to playing against myself, but it's a fun one, because you have to manage things in a different way. Right, what I'm thinking here, then, is I'm trying to eliminate this force here. Oh, they can attack. Oh, they would attack here. Okay. Cancel the attack then. Maybe we win here. We'll see. I don't know. Is that a little foolhardy? I do have a leadership. Maybe I can manage it. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. At least it stops them from fortifying here and then reinforcing. So, we'll move forward. Uh, we do have fortifications here. Now, I could actually cover the charge or I could actually move into the city here. Uh... I want to hold that position, actually. So I'm going to let them attack me, rather than I attack them. Um, do I cover the charge? Do I move into the city? If I move into the city um, and I'm defeated, I lose everything. I'd rather have a shot at retreating, actually. So we'll give that a shot there. So I have a field battle here. 
And again, we do have the morale and leadership on our side. Oh, okay, not ideal result. Right, okay. So, Cairo was a bit of a bust. Oh, jeez, okay. Right, yeah, this is what I mean. Having that morale there... But also having the leadership really does help. So even though we had one strength point versus two strength points, that leadership did make a big difference there. So not great for the Mamluks. Actually, that was a result I was not really... Maybe I am happy. One half is me happy, one half isn't. So I haven't taken the city itself, but I have taken out some of the cavalry. But I freed up our position here to the degree. And I'm protecting my supply line. Which is good. Now I could advance after combat to this position here. And I think I will. Right, okay. Right, so I can voluntarily decide to withdraw or not. I think I'm not going to withdraw. Ah, uh, it depends though, doesn't it? Like, if I stay, I'm just going to get smacked around, aren't I? What I'm going to do is I'm going to withdraw and then see if we can hit them. Ah, not fun. So Napoleon can advance. But what I'll do then is attach some infantry here. Hmm... So I'll detach uh, three strength points of infantry. And then they will engage down here to the south. Napoleon is a very good leader, as you can imagine. But I'm trying to put myself in a position here where I can block the Mamluks in the north and just try and cut them in half. Hmm. All right. So you have a new turn here. This will be fun. Naval. Now, obviously the French are in here. And there's not really all that much I can do about it. Not really all that much. Right. Oh, we, sorry, I, I didn't realize we had a there. Right, we do have some reinforcements down here in the south again. Right, land movement. Have you moved here? Have you moved here? So cavalry is moving north. Hey, doing there, Grim? Good to have you, my man. <laughs> All right, now how do we proceed here? I really do want to get in here. Now, technically, I could do that, but then, as great as that would be. I'm cut off from my own supply then. I mean, technically I would take a lesson, maybe take the supply there. Uh, but then I would just be destroyed. I would prefer to maybe make a push in Cairo. Hmm. Hmm. Right. I think I could take Cairo. But I'm just thinking is how worthwhile is that? Because the French have already got sorry, I could take Alexandria, but the French have already got Cairo. My reinforcements are to the south. I'm gonna try to prevent myself from being cut off and try and Fight again. So that hangs to stop a single path. Right, we do make it there. So you can see we're out of supply here actually. It's not good. Oh. 
This ain't easy. Well, if I'm forced marching, I might as well try. And they fail. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, that's not going ideal. Alright. So, we're fortified here. I can have them attack. I'm going to have them attack. Uh, I do not want to attack Napoleon. Hmm. I kind of had my four... Uh, I was thinking it'd be worth it to get them there, but it wasn't worth it, was it? But I don't attack a surrender initiative. Hmm. I think I will attack. It's not likely to succeed, but I'm hoping to try and lit, uh, like whittle down Napoleon's strength there. Alright, I could try a cavalry. I'm going to try cavalry charges for both and see how that goes. Right, do I want the French in the city or not? No. Right, okay. This may go in our favour, we'll see here. We're getting plus three. Uh, maybe not so much in our favour. <laughs> ah. Back. Alright, we'll redraw. No, in fact, I'll remain in position. At least I do have the fortifications. These guys are obviously kind of like buggered, aren't they? But, well, we'll see. Alright. Additional commitment. I don't really have anything else I can put in there. Monetary withdrawal. So these guys have to... Alright, so they can move back over here then. That's not great. Ah, oh, yes, based on a very popular board game. Okay, remain here. So, optional tactical choice. I could go for a cavalry charge again. Right, a shield stands for a hex in which the battles occur and terrain effects are applied. Problem is, I, I don't really want to do that, do I? Hmm. Yeah. Not ideal. Right, so do you have the alliance opportunity here? Yeah, okay, so it's a difficult situation. Maybe as the Mamluks I've been better off just withdrawing before Napoleon and then like combining. But the problem is then Napoleon would have been Unmolested. It's a difficult one, really. Uh, I've not really had a great shot of it, but let's see here then. So, cities plus two. So maybe actually would be better for Napoleon to seize more cities and increase that chance there. Interesting. Ah, still fails. So Turkey becomes anti-French. No more alliance die roll for the remaining of the game. Okay, so we have... I have them come in. Right, battles. Let's see. Uh, one die roll may be rolled on each side's turn for the first turn. Hmm. A player is awarded one victory point for each hex one or more of his units enter after battle, which was occupied by five or more enemy strength points that start the combat phase. The alliance die rolls increased by two in August 1798, then again by one in each subsequent turn. It's still... okay. So maybe it'd be better to roll the die for the alliance. I don't know if you have to roll it this turn or not, but securing cities actually does help, it seems. Yeah, alliance die rolls increased by two in August, so maybe had it been another turn. Alright. Hmm. Well, we'll see what we can do about that. Maybe we have another shot. Maybe we have opportunities here. So we've been to the turn as the French, as one would imagine. So, uh, I'm not exactly keen on going out here, but I am taking attrition, so... That's an idea. Yeah, we'll go with that. Reinforcements. You have several choices to make on... Okay. Oh, so I can choose where to bring on some infantry. Ooh. That's a nice uh, choice to have. Uh, let's go here, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Well, 
Right, well, let's have you secure Alexandria. Let's have this cavalry move down the Nile. I just want to like, make it difficult here. I could try to force march here. Oh, I could also detach a point. I'm going to detach a point to take the city of Rosetta, in fact. Right. Oh, I need a leader to move them anyway, don't I? Ooh. Alright, okay, you move here then. Alright, there we are. Oh, I do have two... Ah, uh, oh, never mind, be okay. Hmm... Yeah, that'd be okay, be okay. If I move over here anyway, it makes it difficult. I'm gonna try the force march. We actually do succeed here, which is pretty good. So, what I'll do then is detach a point of infantry here to remain as the garrison of Cairo. Uh, then the rest will be led to attack this force here. Napoleon can obviously then attack. So we'll go with that. Land combat, attack, and attack. Alright. That's looking okay. So do you have a city? It'd be nice to take more cities then. So, cavalry charge. I guess try it. I guess try it. Yeah. Not ideal. Yeah. Not ideal. Alright, okay. So then, advance. Not decisive here then, but yeah. There's not much... Oh, wow. Okay, so we have Ibrahim and Murad over here then. That's an ideal. Mandatory withdrawal. Withdraw over here. Right. I don't know if this is just uh, per turn or I need to roll this myself. I think it's just per turn, but I guess we'll see. Um, otherwise, I'm not too sure how to roll the die. Uh, so, <laughs> so I'm not terribly familiar with this yet. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, not had as much time as I would have preferred in this game. So I'm still learning a little bit here. Uh, we'll find out anyway. No. Okay. So we'll go with that. Advance after combat. Like so. Although I am actually out of supply if I do that. Which is not ideal. So I think I'll remain as I am here. As great as it would be, well, uh, yeah, it's okay. Don't need to. Alright. New turn here. Hmm. Getting a little bit harder here. Oh, in fact, I can go to Coastal Hex. I think I have Malta under my control, so I'm going to go ahead and move to Malta. You know what, LS, I'm not terribly sure. Alright, we'll go with that then. Again, we do have more reinforcements, which is at least something. It's just not enough, because, yeah, the Mamluks are kind of broken here. Uh, yeah, the Mamluks are kind of broken, aren't they? I need to withdraw here to the supply source, so move there. But in fairness, actually, what I'll do here is undo, uh, undo this, sorry. And attach... Hmm. I'm going to attach leaders here if I can. Okay, they can actually move a considerable distance there. There we are. Let's 
stick around here for the time being. Right. Again, I don't need to move out of here right now. We did manage to make it through, which did help a lot. Um, what we'll do then after this is we'll take a look at the grand campaign. And then in the future, when I'm a little bit more familiar with the game mechanics, we'll go ahead and return to the uh, grand campaign, actually. But I do like the game. Like I just mentioned, it is based on a classic board game, and there's quite a lot you can do. You can create nations, obviously you have production from cities, and uh, yeah, it would be quite fun, actually. I think it'd make a good one. And I do like a good board game. Honestly, they just play well. Oh, what's your favourite campaign of the Napoleonic Wars? Ah. <sighs> I really do like the Italian campaign. Because you do have the Austrians really... I don't know. I suppose it's just the fact that you have like Napoleon demonstrate himself for the army of Italy before it becomes like Napoleon the Emperor sort of thing. And I think that's rather interesting. Especially like the political situation in France is just absolute batshit insane at that point. So it is really interesting seeing the building, the making of Napoleon. Ah, let's see. Now I could push on further, but I'm going to secure the city and leave a... Well, really I need a point over here too. But what I can go ahead and do then is, we'll move here. I'll detach a point of strength, uh, a point of strength, like so. And then these men can move further, uh, soon enough anyway. The cavalry over here can... I'd like to try and move further, but we'll move here then just to keep our position solidified. So I'm occupying a uh, number of positions here. Have you moved there? I could move to Damietta. Really, have you moved there? Have you moved up if I can? We'll move you there. I'm going to have you try and move out. Have units... Actually, is there... No, there's nothing really here worthwhile holding on to. So, in fact, merge them back in there. So, move into the city. I think I should be okay there. We'll soon see. Push forward. Move into the city. Alright, so I've controlled the cities over here then. Initiate combat. Obviously can't initiate combat elsewhere. And fortifications. Just cavalry charge. I don't really have much of a chance. I need to try and just like do any damage I can. Which is not likely to happen. Oh yeah, LS. On the question of Russia. I, it seems Plumer informs me that for some reason his GHQ disappeared. We're putting this down to potentially a bug, I'm not too sure. Uh, we're looking forward to obviously being able to start a second season of that game. But he sacked the Tsar, I think as a act of suicide. <laughs> so, uh, apparently sacking the Tsar re resulted in something like a, a loss of 110 national morale or something, or 115 national morale. Uh, so yeah, that's how we went from 20-odd to zero. So I think he was just like, yep, yeah, it's going to happen. Might as well see what happens and just try and do some food fun. <laughs> so he'd sack the Tsar. He said he had it coming, so <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, okay, this is all we've got here. I'm not going to withdraw from that. They need to withdraw from that. Can we take the city? Yeah, the Mamluks are kind of running out of options here. <laughs> um, I, I was thinking, ooh, actually it may not go very well for the French, but yeah. Um, I'm not sure actually there's a price point, so I'll have to find out about that. But the game will be out tomorrow, so it may yet show it. But once I do know, I'll let you guys know. But we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the Grand Campaign afterwards, actually. I don't really know what I'm meant to... I can't do all that much right now, so... <laughs> it's not going particularly well, is it? Right, well, not much I can do about the Egyptians here. Sorry, about the French in Egypt. 
Right, some reinforcements have arrived. At least that's something. It's kind of like a final stand over here, or... Yeah. Or maybe I just make a stand here. Ah, oh, it's not an easy one. Not easy. Hmm. Yeah, supply is a bit of a problem, actually. I think because I needed the uh, unit over here then. Okay, so that's my problem then. So I thought that supply is also remain active, so now I need something there then, it seems. Uh, potentially to act as that depot. So what we'll do then is... This can go here. Attach a unit. Have them move there. Right. I think that should work. I think it should work. I could attach another unit here to make sure. Right, then we'll move south again. But I think that should work. I'm going to push Napoleon on here. Let's try and make a break for that. It's not very likely. Oh, don't make it yet. But ooh, Okay, so we're probably maybe strung out to dry here, but we're very close to supply. I'm hoping I can link that back up. So it seems you need to have that there. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, let's see. Can we punish this? Ooh, the following reinforcements have been placed on the map. Okay. Oosh. Sorry, I may I'm I'm not quite used to the game as of yet. I need to get more familiar. So I may be making some pretty terrible mistakes here. So uh some reflection on the game. Okay, we actually do have some reinforcements here. Okay. I can work with that. And I'm actually in a decent position here then. Um hmm. Let me strike out at Napoleon. We may have a shot. I may have uh, buggered myself up and given... Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Damn it, I meant to attack. Damn it. Well, either way, we'll see. Now I restored this supply, so maybe it's something here. Hmm. Interesting. Right. Yeah, right now I actually do not have that supply. But I can move to Aswan, so I'll move to Aswan. <laughs> and we'll just sidestep that. Okay. Hmm. Oh, now we've restored supply. There we are. Okay. Well, interesting enough that Napoleon doesn't have that. So we'll see. Oops. I didn't quite get to see that. Right, let's move back to the Atlantic. That was my fault there. <laughs> The game is pretty fun. Okay, yeah, we're in winter here. Mm -hmm. Right, we do have some reinforcements. So we do have at least a shot against Napoleon here. Uh, whoa, actually quite a few reinforcements there. Yeah, that's the best we're going to get. Ooh, we might have a shot here to defeat Napoleon. This is the best I'm gonna... Oh. Well, still, we've got the, we've got the men. 
So I will draw back to the supply source just to make sure I don't lose it. I do lose uh, some morale for doing that, I believe. Oh, I do see supply sources out here. How interesting. Yeah, the Oasis, okay. I do wonder if the Ottomans have joined here. Ah, yes. Uh, Turkey enters the war of the anti-French side. Ah! Alright, not ideal. Not ideal. They have an El Arish. So that's going to be sucky. Right, okay. So I'm going to remain as I am there for naval. Let's see. I think I need to move you a little further south, in fact. They need a leader to move, though, that's the problem. Let me leave you here and take you there. So I think one, two, three. One, two, three. There. That's why I went wrong. Can I merge them? Not yet. What I can do is I can move you here. Ah, oh, they failed though, unfortunately. Damn it. Alright. Hmm. I could try and take the supply sources out here, actually, but I don't think it's worth it. I may withdraw back, but I need a leader to instigate that movement, so we'll see. Cavalry charge. Not going so well. They need to just stay as they are. Additional commitment. Oh yes, we can have the, uh, ah, yes, the cavalry joins there. Excellent. I just need to remain. I could have a cavalry charge, but I don't think I really need to. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the game will have uh, multiplayer and play by email. Right, so do have a cavalry and the infantry there. Not going particularly well. <sighs> All right. Can't withdraw. No additional commitment. Oh, the infantry can join here, apparently. Oh, oh, they do join. Wow. Okay. So we are drawing in additional forces there. Yeah. Joint forces need to be adjacent to an enemy SP committed to the battle. Okay. Move there. Reinforce Napoleon. Not really a choice here. I don't want a cavalry charge. That fault fine, at least. Yeah, the Mamluk's getting their asses kicked, okay. Ah, force of a draw here. But I have nowhere to go. Advance out to combat. Hmm. I'm gonna leave myself out of supply there. But I'm trying to force them. But we'll see. We do have the Mamluks at least. Okay. That's uh, sort of the Ottomans. I buggered the use of the naval. So let's see what I can do with the Ottomans then. 
So. Hmm. Let's see. I need to link up with the Mamluks out here. At least then I might be able to do something. I just need that supply. I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna have to let the French attack. Let's see. So what I can do here then is one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. So move here. Detach a point of infantry. Everybody else moves on forward. One, two, three. You remain as you are here. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame. Alright. Uh, can I... I could try to get them there. I'm gonna try that. Ah, uh, don't succeed. Shame. Make the attack. Let me see here. Yeah, Turkey's on the offensive, but a little bit too late now. I mean, I could cavalry charge. I'll give it a cavalry charge. Uh, do I, nah. Mm, yeah, we'll give it a cavalry charge. Give it a cavalry charge. Why not? Alright. <laughs> Lost his choice there. Alright. Hmm. Cavalry. Cavalry. Yeah, they're going to be wiped out. They have to withdraw. Oops. Yeah. Uh, that's the Mamluks just gone there in the south. Which means that Napoleon can then march to the north. Ah, so I do have some reinforcement down here, but that's good. Right. So do have Ibrahim and Hassan over here. Really, I need to get the forces here. So, what I'm going to do then is leave a point of infantry. Send you... Well, actually, leave the infantry here. Take the general. Like so. Have you take command of that infantry, move that infantry there. Then maybe I need a depot here. It depends really on how we count that. Probably best to have something there. But I'll attach a point here for now. In which case, well, I can't move them right now. Maybe I can go like that. Okay. Give it a go. Oh, we actually, wow, okay. Wow, okay. 
well, <laughs> if we achieve the battle, uh, but we destroy ourselves in, in the attempt, but at least it does open it up. And we do at least achieve something there. Can't do all that much in naval there. Ah, okay. Base in Cairo. Right, detach. I'll just detach the cavalry out. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, nah. Just a point of infantry. Right. There we are. Then I can have these men march back, and then we can deal with the Ottomans to the north. They'll link up soon enough. Those men, so I can march them south. I should have collected them with the other leader here, the Jezar. Right, move there. New turn. Okay, so they can march there. I think we're near the end of the campaign, really. So I just need that supply. Yeah, French Egypt, yeah. Alright, need a point of supply here. It's getting used to the actual convoys. Sorry for supply depots. Ah, oh, there's not much they want to be doing. Right, there we are. So it does take us some time to extricate ourselves from southern Egypt, but at least it can be done. Uh, but we are taking, we are losing supply over here, so my supply chain is not quite yet working. I think maybe the river's not helping, probably the MP perhaps. Oh, we'll see. Ah, they may start to death, but they'll, they'll manage. Oh, we do actually have a fair bit of reinforcements there. I just need to have a leader. <laughs> All right. Well, damn it. Get the men moving here soon. Hmm. I'm forming up the Egyptian army, well, the French army in Egypt, basically. Wow. 
There's a lot of reinforcements. Okay, wow. Once I get the depot set up properly, it will be good. Ah, oh, yes, too many. Ah, need to drop another two. Well, I can have the leaders actually, sorry, so leave you there. Right, you march your men here. And then we'll build a depot here. Okay. <laughs> right, that works. So this needs to leave behind one. Right, there we are. Right, so we finally formed up the French in Cairo, and then we'll begin marching. I don't really have that many numbers, in fairness. Hmm. In fairness, I could have, like, withdrawn these men as well, but that's a lesson learned. Yeah, the next wave of fresh meat. <laughs> yes, the Dutch Africa core, indeed. Right, let's see. I'm not breaking out of that. I'm not particularly eager to try either. Alright, so let me leave behind point of men here and move on. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's interesting. Where did they arrive, or did I place them? Damn, the Ottomans actually do have a fair amount of strength. Hmm. Okay. What I'm in... Oh. There we are. I did wonder where they went. Right, move on to the position here. Right, okay. Move them to the east. And then we can actually have a pick up some troops. Which I'll pick up from here. Wow, we can load quite a lot of men here. We actually do have a leader here, too. Wow. This is actually... Why am I saying French here? <laughs> Interesting. Must be a little bug there. Right, sail, coastal hex. Here, get a leader in there. Wow, Russians? That's pretty cool. Right. Uh, can't. But we've got our leader now. We've got a lot of troops over here. I just need the uh, supplies. I thought this would be close enough, but apparently not. So we'll not even leave a unit. And then... You and ten... Right, and then I'll leave a unit. There we are, that's what I should have done beforehand. Okay, there we are. How you doing there, Joey? Good to have you, my man. Yeah, I'm doing a poor job here, but we'll be learning more of the game. I'll take a look at the Grand Campaign shortly, actually. 
Right, I can't take everybody here. So, wow, we have a lot of men. Just a lot of men. Oops. Oh, we can actually take a little bit more. All right, you can march this way. Okay, now this will be an interesting little uh, engagement that'll take place. Oh, I'm seeing supply issues there. Hmm. So I've moved back. Yes, I think it's free. I should be able to see the supply path, but I think I'm not seeing it correctly. Um. Like I said, I've not had as much time with this game as I would have preferred, but I thought I'd go ahead and get the stream. I'd just like people take a look at the game. Definitely not an expert as of it as yet, but we'll take a little bit of time to learn. I believe it's supply range of free, but I may need to have things set up a little bit better. Maybe the MP takes into consideration. is taken into consideration, I should say. Right, so the Russians can move to the... Let's move over here. Wow. My god, the Ottomans have a lot of men. Yes, the... Uh, sorry, these are the Ottomans. We destroyed the Mamluks, basically. Right, let's see. We'll move forward our... Oh, I need to probably... I'm going to go ahead and just make sure I've got like a supply chain here. So I'll place the depot there. I can see the supply path. Yeah, there we go. So I can see that supplies flowing there. I think it may be. Yeah, I can see that supplies flowing from Cairo. Yeah, okay, now I can see the supply path. Okay, there we are. Oh, you know, I'm not too sure. I should forgot when the end date is. Uh, October 1799, actually. So, not long now. <laughs> <laughs> and that is mostly me making mistakes. Alright, let me go ahead and leave a unit. Yep, there we go. At least in the future we'll know more about the game and how to perform better. We'll finish for an engagement here. Alright, uh, I could go for a cavalry, but I'm not going to do that. Right, we do have a field battle here, but the problem is horses. Ooh. But again, that leadership and morale just makes such a big difference. I'm not going to withdraw. Well, actually, I think I will withdraw. We'll draw this way closer to supply, actually. Yes, exactly. A railroad would be quite ideal. They can. But what I'll do is detach infantry. And then move forward. Like so. Yeah, what I quite like here is occupying this hex at the end of the battle was the alliance victory points. If you actually do uh, win battles, you can actually gain that, which is quite nice. Uh, even though we technically won as a French, we withdraw so they can claim victory. Uh, mandatory withdrawal. Yeesh, okay. Damn it. Oh, that's not it. Okay. Alright, I believe we're in the final turn. Right, now I've got our supply path from Cairo. I'm not going to be able to do much of that. <laughs> uh, so what I'll do then is detach the infantry and move forward. Yes. Okay. Bosco, sorry. I will be doing the uh, War of the East 2 play by email. I've just been so bloody busy with things. Honestly, it's been such a terrible month for being busy. Well, things are getting a little bit better, so uh, we'll see about that. But in the near future, we will be able to. That'd be lovely. All right. But I do apologize. Just just been so busy. And we'll attack here. Alright, well. Yeah, there we go. Of course. But there's plenty of bloody Turks, in fairness. Plenty of Turks. Alright, nope. Nope. Additional commitment. I could and I shall. And if I can, I will. There we are. We'll go out with a bang. Nope. 
keep going. We'll be forced to draw here. I was clicking the wrong button there. Eesh. Let's have to combat. That's a good place to be out of supply though. But I think we may be pretty much in the last point. Quite a few turns here, really. And when we do... Wow, we have the bridge there. Okay, cool. When I do learn more about the game's rules, I will definitely do a better job here. Because there's a lot of Turks. Like, a lot. I think I just need to get better at managing my supply lines. Right, move back over here. And then at least I can resupply. Okay, there we go. So we actually do end with a draw there. So the French player wins a decisive victory if the current score is 10 or more at the end of the scenario. A single point is awarded for each of the following cities controlled by the pro-French forces. Alexandria, Aswan... Okay. Ah, uh, ooh, okay. So I really... Hmm, okay. Ah. Ah, one VP if Bonaparte is inside any city of France. Okay, that's good to know. Should Red be VP here. So the Allied player wins a marginal victory. Okay, okay. Interesting. Hmm. Alright, that's cool. Well, we've got to go through a scenario there. So what I'll do is I'll show off the Grand Campaign. And then we'll return when I actually do have more experience with the game. So what we'll do then is... I do like to go for the more advanced scenarios. That's obviously with the advanced naval. So we'll go for the Grand Campaign here. So you can see that we have either Solitaire or Multiplayer. So what we'll do then is we'll play both sides, of course, and then take a look. Yeah, yeah, so that's my fault for not having read the virtual conditions there. I didn't realise that one, actually. Yeah, there's a lot of Ottomans. Right, so move forces back to the hex symbol to set up positions of your choice then. So, we are in... Right, we're currently in setup, so we'll take a look at that shortly. Right, this is Grand pa Campaign. Uh, we have options here. Uh, so we're in 1805 to August 1815, so it's a fair length of the campaign here. So we can set up our forces, and we do have Napoleon here. Hmm. A little bit of time before we'd head over to Egypt, basically. I'm oh, sorry, a little, uh, some time after Egypt, I should say. I don't know, Franz Ferdinand, good to have you, my man. Yeah, I mean, it was really good. I didn't do a very good job there of showing off the campaign over in Egypt, but the game is pretty great. I thought I'd take a look at a scenario, and like, as I said, I will come back to the game and show off more as I learned and gain more experience here. So, we have the option of creating new nations as well as alliances, so there's quite a lot you can do here. Like for example, I do have alliance opportunities, which take a look at when it loads. Alright, so we have uh, Prussia's neutral right now. I could declare war, probably not ideal. We do have Russia, Austria, and England in coalition, and then we have Spain and France, and this is our coalition, the Empire, which is pretty awesome. Sounds pretty fantastic, in fact. So let's not declare war on the Prussians. If I take a look at alignment, you can see... Need to deal with the Portuguese, really. But we'll deal with the Austrians. And I need to obviously deal with them down here. Hmm. Ah, let's see. I do have a supply source here. I don't believe I need to have a unit directly on a supply source. But I do need to have a close by. So what I'd like to do then is have uh, Napoleon... Deploy here. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we'll go and deploy a Mets. I got some Danish troops. How spooky they are. Hmm. Hmm. That's okay, actually. I play on both sides, so I can choose where to deploy the forces here, too. But I'm lacking supply, though. I think I've got all the forces there. Yeah, I believe so. Alright, move to the next phase. <laughs> yeah. Right, there we are. So I'm starting to now start a supply here. I could move into Ulm. 
It just placed me in a position where I'm going to be directly in combat there with Napoleon, but I need that supply source. And not particularly ideal here, is it? Okay, let's go for that and then I need to... It's difficult actually, because I do need to drive them out. You can see that we do have a production city here. So a red production city may be used, but just need land or naval units. So we'll go with it as is. Really, I, I'd be better off like... But I can't really abandon Venice. Not ideal. Right, so we bring Gein as a French here. Naval movement, yes. Not likely to happen. So I could attempt to rock, run the blockade. I don't really have anywhere to go. <laughs> so let's, let's not. Hmm. I don't be able to, I'm not going to gain much there. I do have a fleet down here. At least I could try and build up a fleet, which would be, which would be useful. Right. And did we do have Napoleon able to engage the Austrians, Ferdinand and Mac? Not exactly the ideal situation here. Honestly, this is pretty in the favour of the French. Let's see. Right, so we have production here then. So all militia and partisan SP must be built before infantry cavalry, okay. Well, that's interesting. Out of five naval points may be saved. I think we have four. We have one naval. Italian, so this is French, this is Italian, this is Spanish, I believe. So... Right... Italians would be quite handy. Additional French strength would be also very handy. Four points. And they have... Good strength there. Uh, hmm... I'm going to reinforce my position in Italy. Right, 15 points. <laughs> yeah, that's going to take some doing, isn't it? Uh, in fact, I may just actually save those points and then we'll go from that. Alright, there we are. Where did that get placed? All right, it's been produced, but I don't think it's been ready yet. All right, okay. So I do have the Italian, so I'm going to leave behind an Italian unit here. I can at least move to Mantua, which is pretty awesome. That is a very strong Austrian army there, though, I must admit. Hmm. Hmm. You're drawing supply direct there. Thinking about having the French moved up this way, maybe moving them towards Genoa. I think so. From Florence to Genoa. Need to actually build my forces. I need to try and hold here if I can. And not likely, but I need to try and just delay the Austrians. Win the battle with our forces over here. Alright, so I've got a. Yeah, okay. So I have the Bavarians here. Not at war with the Prussians. So not too bad there. Really I need to just try and win against them and push on Austria. And push on to Vienna. Hmm. 
Oh, right, okay. Uh, that's why they're commanding two minutemen. That makes sense. Let's see. Just station men here to hold onto the depot, and then push on to reinforce Napoleon. Hmm. I saw reinforce Napoleon quite heavily. Move to Frankfurt. I think I should, in theory, be able to draw a supply there. I do have a supply path, so in theory, they should be able to provide that. I'm close to supply here to Lido anyway, so it shouldn't matter. This would be nice to take. So I do want to have that supply source there. Do see the British out here at Gibraltar. That's what we like to call the Bizet of Nut Crack. So the thing is, as well, you'd have to be constantly aware that the British could land. It would be rather interesting to see how this would play out as a proper play by email campaign. Right, I think that's about it. So, what we'll do then is we'll resolve some battles and then we'll call it here. And then, obviously, I'll have to learn more of the game. That's quite a huge army. I can I attack? I'm not going to attack that. I'll let them attack me. Do have fortifications, but not going to matter much, is it? Yeah, we have fortifications here for the French. So let's see, Ferdinand. That's a lot of men, but again, Napoleon is going to kick his ass. We do lose 10,000 men, but again, yeah, ah, pretty horrific costing casualties there, actually. So not ideal. 10,000 men gone, though. Quite a few more. Okay, want to withdraw? Nope. Of course, the Austrians would, I don't know. That's a pretty difficult situation here, like, the battle of um, so we have additional commitment. Not really. Yeah, I could even have these men join in here. They successfully join. They successfully join. Oh, they failed to join, sorry. So we almost replaced the losses that we took. Hmm. Mandatory withdrawal here. Yeah, otherwise they'll just be overwhelmed. Not ideal. Withdrawal. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to leave off for tonight. I will be returning to this game. I need to learn more of the rules. But I thought I'd show it off. And this is it. I've done a pretty poor job. But I believe you guys have seen a good deal of the game. And uh, there will be more of the game. You'll be able to see more. I do believe it would be quite fun playing to play by email. And of course, it's a digitalized version of a board game. So i you guys, if you have played in the past, will obviously understand far more about the game. And know more about how to do things and really what you want to be aiming for. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. As poor as it has been, I do apologize. The poor developer will not be too happy with me. But I'll be coming back and learning more. So thanks for watching. Take care. And stay very safe and very happy. The game will be out tomorrow. Do go ahead and check it out if you feel like you've seen something of uh, a gem here. I think it's a gem. And I look forward to playing more. Goodbye for now. Take care.